Hello and welcome to this Nation Voice tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through the steps of downloading and installing TeamSpeak 3 and then how to connect to a server. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download TeamSpeak. So let's go to Google and search for TeamSpeak. First URL should be teamspeak.com. This is the trusted TeamSpeak site which you should be downloading from. So go to Downloads and TeamSpeak 3. Now the question here is which version do we need to download? Well, if you're on Windows, obviously you want to go for the Windows download. If you're on Mac, you obviously want to go for the Mac and so on. But how do we find out which architecture we're running? Well, that's quite simple. If we're on Windows 7, we can go to Start, right-click Computer, Properties, and a new dialog comes up telling us System Type 32-bit Operating System. So we know that we're on a 32-bit operating system. This means we'll need a 32-bit client. If you're on a 64-bit client, you can still get the 32-bit client, but the 64-bit client will generally outperform it. All right, so we're going to hit download. And at the bottom of this page, there should be an I agree button. We just want to click that and our download will start. Now that we have the TeamSpeak client downloaded, we're going to launch the installer. If you're prompted with a user account control warning, then you just want to click yes and the installer will continue as normal. This is the TeamSpeak 3 client setup wizard. In this setup wizard, we'll be going through installing TeamSpeak onto your PC. So uh, just hit next, and I agree. And uh, this we can select which users we want it installed for. So say if I'm an admin account and I don't want any other users on the PC to have it installed, I can just check install just for me. But uh, I don't want to do that. I want to let everyone use TeamSpeak. So I'm just going to leave it as install for anyone using this computer and hit next. Here we can specify a different destination folder, uh, but for me the default is fine. I don't really need to specify a different destination. If you're crazy on space or want to put it on a different drive, then feel free to browse for another destination folder. But for me this is fine, so I'm going to hit next. Here we can choose where our configuration files are saved. The recommended is save in user own files, which means that it'll be saved in your application's data. This is a hidden folder and this is generally recommended over saving inside the installation folder. So I would just leave this at the recommended unless you know what you're doing. Here we just select the start menu folder which should be fine by default so just go ahead and click install and the client will install. Now that our TeamSpeak 3 is done installing we can just hit close. Alright so let's fire up the TeamSpeak 3 client. I'm going to go ahead and double click on my desktop icon here. And if this is the first time you're running TeamSpeak 3 which for most of you it will be. This setup wizard guides you through choosing your nickname, setting up your microphone, testing your microphone, and setting some useful key bindings. So let's proceed with the setup wizard. Go ahead and click next. Here we can choose the nickname that will be known as on all the servers we join. So I want to make sure that people know who I am. You can type your name or your nickname you use in a game or whatever you want really. Just make sure that people know who you are. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to type tutorial. So we're going to hit next and here we're going to be able to choose how we transmit to other people. This is a very important step because if we don't choose here, we're not going to be able to talk to people effectively until we go into the configuration ourselves. You can either use voice activation, which will activate upon you talking into your microphone. But if you have a lot of noise levels in the background, it may activate just upon that. So it's probably a good idea to go with push to talk if you have that. Again, you can try the two options and see which one you like better. For me, I'm going to use push to talk, which basically means that we'll have to hold down a key for the duration of the time that I want to transmit for, and then let go afterwards. So I want to click the no hotkey assign button, and this gray box will appear. When this gray box is up, we can press any key on our keyboard, mouse, or controllers, and it'll become our push to talk key. So for me, I'm just going to use control on my keyboard, so I'm going to hit control. This sets control to our push to talk key. So, if we move on to the next step, we'll be able to find out if our microphone is working correctly and if our push to talk is set up. So, if we press control like we said in the previous phase, obviously keeping in mind that you may have set a different hotkey, we'll be able to see an audio bar move. At the same time, we'll be able to hear ourselves through our own speakers. This is exactly the audio other people will hear on any TeamSpeak server. So make sure that the audio levels are acceptable and you're not very loud or very low, otherwise people might not be able to hear you or they may get annoyed if you're too loud. So, obviously after that I can see that my audio device is configured correctly and I don't need to touch anything else. I now know how the push to talk key works and I'm comfortable going in a server and talking to other people. So I'm going to hit next. In this section we can set a key bind to mute our speakers. Obviously this isn't for everyone and you don't always want to mute your speakers, but it's a nice hotkey to have if you want to set it, go ahead and set it. 
but I'm going to leave it. So after this, we're all done with the setup wizard and we can go ahead and click finish and start joining some TeamSpeak servers. So now that we're done configuring, we're in the main client itself and we want to join up to a server I just purchased off Nation Voice. So how do I do that? Well, it's relatively simple. All you have to do is go to connections, connect, and input an address and a port. By default, the TeamSpeak address and the default port has already been inputted along with my nickname which I specified in the setup. Now I want to change the address and the port to match that of my server. So, assuming I know my server information, I'm going to type in teamspeak.nationvoice.com and I'm going to change the port to 9993. Obviously this information will depend depending on the server you got. So it's best to always double check the information to make sure that it's right before connecting. So I see that there's no server password on my server so I don't need to input one here. Everything looks like it's ready to go so all I need to do is hit connect. And now I'm in my TeamSpeak server. And that's really all there is to it. So I hope you learned a bit about TeamSpeak 3. I hope you're familiar with installing it, configuring it and setting up your devices. And thank you for watching.